Hello everyone! So um, in addition to my uh, weekly videos, I'm going to be doing um, just some vlogs. They're going to be super short, just like weekly vlogs that I'm probably going to be posting on Saturdays. And I think that these are going to be really fun. I'm trying a new angle. I'm not sure if I like it yet, but we'll see. I'm trying to stick to art and to games in my regular videos because those are the two things that I like the most. Um, and, uh, but I have a lot of other little things like other art projects that don't take a lot of time or can't be made into a full video that I would like to share. And I think just doing some weekly quarantine vlogs will give me an outlet for that. It's the end of the day and my hair is absolutely a mess. So I think the first thing that we're going to do is I'm really wanting to build a pillow fort. This is like my nook kind of area with my computer in it, and I feel like this would just be a wonderful place to make a um, a blanket tent um, out of. Just put some blankets over here. I already have hooks on the wall for my tapestry over there, so um, I think we'll make a blanket fort. Is this a good angle? <sighs> Step one complete! Put them on there with hair ties. A little longer than a few minutes later. So let me give you a tour of my blanket fort. So it goes over top of my computer and my monitor, so you know you get a nice viewing experience. You don't have any distractions. I use my easel, but I kind of covered it up with a blanket because it looks it looks so much softer. It also looks like a person, so I hope it doesn't freak me out when I try and sleep. We have our lovely pine tree background, like usual, because I wanted to keep it. It's very, um, I think it has a really cozy feeling. I have a nice little blanket on my chair that I can wrap myself up in like a burrito. And of course we have fairy lights because no good pillow fort is complete without fairy lights. I want to see what it looks like with the light completely off. It's going to get very dark. Ooh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. This is so cute! Oh, I have to make sure not to knock this e the easel over or else all of this is going to fall. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! I'm gonna have to take part of it down tomorrow though so I can film a video, but for now it's really cute. Oh, this is so lovely. So I think what we're going to do now is obviously binge watch that 70s show, but since we're going with this nice cozy theme, I think we shall make some hot chocolate. Hello, Mal. What is up, my gamer guy? Somebody get some rope and tie it up, eh? Look how nice that looks, Thomas. I mean, you're too tall for the viewfinder, but perfect. <laughs> wow, your head is so small. Mom, look how small Lizzie's head is. Still have a big... His head is big. His head also looks big because of the hair. Let the record show that your head is just big. <laughs> He's got that big German cranium. That's it! You got that big German cranium! We don't have a microwave. Because apparently they're bad for you. So we're gonna make hot chocolate in a pot. You know how many times I've been criticized? For not, for having, not having a microwave. For not having a microwave! Alright, we need mugs. I'm a pothead. <laughs> Lizzie! What did I do? That little pre-cum. I didn't... Oh my god! <laughs> Not my good, wholesome, Christian Good vlog. luck editing! <laughs> Organic milk? Stop. Two cups. Three cups. Yes, we're using milk. Our hot chocolate mix that already has milk powder in. I don't care that it has milk powder in already. If you use water, you're wrong. Doesn't matter what kind of milk. It can be cow's milk, it can be almond milk. But if you use water, you're wrong. Wait, why are you using... Why are you using what? A whisk! Don't just toss it in! You gotta sprinkle it around! You are chef. I am chef. No, I can't touch you. Corona. Ooh, it's so cozy! I love this. This is so great. 
We're going to make breakfast. I always have a cup of coffee when I'm making breakfast and then by the time I finish making breakfast, I finished my coffee. So then I have another cup of coffee and it's an endless cycle of too much caffeine. I wanna make a smoothie, but we don't have any fruit. I found a singular fruit. So I'm putting jam and honey on my waffles. Please don't think I'm strange. I would put Nutella, but we don't have any brand name Nutella and the one that we have just does not taste very good. And yep, yeah, that's Tuesday's breakfast. Real interesting stuff we got going on in my house. I was talking to my friends the other day and they were dumbfounded by the concept that I was still getting up and getting dressed and like functioning and not staying in my pajamas all day. The type of person that I am is just, I can't not like, I, I rarely give myself time to rest, which is not good. I'm always pushing myself a lot. If there's a day where I get up, I stay in my pajamas the whole day and I like don't do anything, I'll feel so terrible at the end of the day because I just, I feel like I haven't done anything. I haven't achieved anything or accomplished anything. Sometimes I get up, I get dressed, and then I just watch Netflix all day. I mean, it's a real fine line you gotta walk. Do you know how I said before that I got dressed every morning? Well, I partially lied. I mean, today I put on a new shirt. I washed my hair, but I'm wearing the same pajama pants. Some days I, you just you just want to be comfy. I mean, I could get I could get dressed and fake it and put on sweatpants, which are just equally as comfy. But I love my pajamas. So I've been seeing a trend online from TikTok, as you do these days. There's this recipe for this coffee that's been like everywhere on YouTube lately, and I love coffee. So I'm highly intrigued by this whipped coffee recipe that sounds delicious. So apparently this recipe is very, very easy to make. You only need like three ingredients. You only need instant coffee and sugar and water, and that's pretty much it. And you're gonna need your milk of choice. I'm gonna be using almond milk. So I have four tablespoons of coffee, four tablespoons of sugar, which seems like a lot of sugar, and four tablespoons of water. And we're just gonna beat this together. I mean, I could do it by hand, but I feel like that will take a very, very long time. So I'm gonna do it with a hand mixer. This smells so good. It looks like whipped like peanut butter. It looks so cool. So I'm gonna use a mason jar and I think I'm gonna fill this like maybe a quarter of the way, a third of the way of milk. This is like the fanciest coffee that I've ever made myself. I think I'm supposed to mix it up a little bit, like mix the milk into the, into the coffee a bit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that because there's so much coffee. We tried to give it a try with the milk and the coffee. It's so hard to suck through the straw. I put four tablespoons of sugar in there. Barely tastes like it. It still has that like really bitterness of like, it pretty much tastes like, it, it's hazelnut instant coffee, it tastes like just straight hazelnut instant coffee. It does not taste like there's any sugar in it. But mixed with the milk, it tastes really, really good. Okay, well, excuse me while I go watch Netflix for seven hours straight. 